it is 6.44 in the morning, and I'm going for a quick run, and then getting the day going. The light up here is absolutely amazing. I don't know how well it's going to show up up on the GoPro but you can see like just very defined streaks and rays of sun coming across the mountain and then how it's just highlighting the trees and all up on that mountain mmm there's nothing like sun alright done at the camp gonna run back to my house and get some breakfast and get ready for the day. Probably shouldn't forget you guys. That light though, just so nice. Nice short little run. Got some sprinklers turned on up at camp that needed to be. One, uh, while these other camps are here, we're having to sprinkle, uh, just turn on the sprinklers at night. And since we don't have a sprinkler system, uh, that means that we can't really water everything every night. So I think what I'm gonna be doing is going up early in the morning. I got a later start than I wanted to. I wanted to get up at 6 a.m. and run up there so I could get two hours worth of watering in before we have to pull them. I'm only getting about an hour in, but an hour is better than nothing. And so it's, it's nice because it's a motivation for me to go running because they're gonna be here for three weeks. So if I can stay committed, dedicated, that'll be running basically six days a week for three weeks I'll be doing this um, and it's not very far but it's enough to get some exercise and um, just get out in the morning and enjoy the fresh air so I'm really glad I decided to do this this morning and I'm gonna continue to do it so mostly because of this light like I mentioned up there this light is unreal I love early morning light there's just something about it All right, so this morning we found a soursop fruit. We have a soursop tree and a couple mangoes, which, check out this mango. It's like almost the size of my head. We found this, it's not ripe yet, but it was on the ground, so we picked it up, and hopefully it'll ripen up in the next few days. But, our first ripe soursop. So, we are going to cut it up, and we watched a video, we didn't know how we were supposed to eat or anything, but apparently you just cut it open in half, and as long as you don't eat the seeds, you can just scoop it out with a spoon, eat everything but the seeds. So, we're pretty excited to try this out. Alright, so...
Oh man. It smells weird. Yeah. Check that out. It's just, uh, it's supposedly pretty sour. Obviously for the name, sour sop. These seeds you don't want to eat. They are very bad for you. I don't know, I guess you're supposed to just eat it with a spoon, so I'm gonna grab a spoon. Careful, because there's a, you can kind of see some more yeah. seeds down there, so. What do you think? I got a spoonful. It doesn't taste bad. How is it? Yeah, it's not bad. It's How's actually pretty good. How's so, the texture? It has a weird texture. I think, because it's not slimy. I expected it to be slimy, but it's almost more... Like an overripe pear. Yeah, it is. It has that um, kind of grainy texture of an overripe pear. Um, I remember what I was going to say. It's supposedly um, very good for fighting cancer. Mmm. It really is quite good. It's just... Weird. It's not what I expected at all. It has like these kind of stringy almost layers to it, but then there's kind of pulp and mushy mushy pulp in between. I don't know, it's it's really strange. The juice isn't like it's not really typical juice. It comes out as more of a film or like a filmy pulpish type mm -hmm. stuff. I can see where it would be good in, in like a juice or something. Like if you juice them. Yeah, I'm having a hard time. Oh shoot. I'm having a hard time deciding whether I really like it or not. I mean it doesn't taste bad. It tastes yeah. it actually tastes fairly good. But it's just it's like one of those things where it's good but I, there's just something about it that makes it really weird and not... I think it's the more of the filmy, it's not like yeah. a juice, not like a liquid. It's not like an apple, like a good apple or orange or something, when you bite into it, it's like an enjoyment in eating it almost. This is like, it, it tastes fairly good, but it's just, it has such a weird experience. Over watery mashed potatoes. Yeah, it really is, it's like, it feels like it should be a crunchy fruit. Or it tastes like it should be more of a crunchy or crisp fruit, but then it's mushy and watery, but not like the good orange juicy type juicy. It's just, it, it's weird. I don't know how to explain it. But they do sell these in stores, and I have actually seen them on the mainland. Um, they're expensive on the mainland. We have a tree, so we can just go out and pick them. Uh, and we've been super excited to try it for the last few weeks so that's what it is soursop if you have a chance pick one up and try it out yourself I definitely think I like our mango tree better than our soursop tree though uh. also apparently you can take the leaves and make a tea out of them and it's a super powerful cleanser you just threw the whole thing no I was eat, finished eating it it was just a core left Serious? You? Yeah. Mine didn't have as much meat at first. Oh, you want some of mine? No, dude. I'm good. That's enough for one day. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a little strange. Well, I mean, I feel like it's a fruit that we'll probably go out and like when there's ones ripe, we'll probably pick it and eat it. But it's not something that I would necessarily eat again. Pay no. for. I definitely wouldn't pay for it. The only reason I eat it is because of the it's a super fruit, so yeah, and that's the thing is it has so much good stuff in it for you, and um, that's what we've been hearing like for the last couple months. People come in and they're like, "Oh, you have a sour sop tree? You gotta try it. It's super good for you. You can make you know tea out of the leaves. It's a really good cleanser for the body and everything." So we've been looking forward to trying it. Now we've tried it, and I think we'll stick to the mango tree. <laughs>